What's up everybody? Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I'm doing something a little different. As you can see, I'm going to do a little review on this uh, Gund uh, Gundam Wing robot guy here. Um, man, I haven't done one of these since I was a real young teenager. Uh, but I found this at a store. I seen it, I was like, oh man, I gotta get this thing, build it. It's, like I said, it's been forever. Like I built one, like I said, I was a, man, I was a real young teenager when I built one of these. Uh, but he, this, the one I built then was, um, I think it's, the suit's called like Zero something. Um, I think he's like one of the main characters. Um, and he was like a pretty big guy. A pretty, uh, pretty good sized figure, I mean. Uh, but anyway, I saw this. I gotta get this thing, build it, and the box is, well, everything's loose in there, but you can see my hand, how big the box is. I was thinking this guy would be a pretty good size figure. Uh, I was kind of disappointed in it, but at the same time, I was pretty excited about it. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get him out of the box and show you. I already got it built together, or put him together. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what's going on. All right, so here he is, built. Like I said, he's a pretty small figure. Here's my hand. As you see, a little size comparison. Uh, I did go ahead and paint. I, I got some of the stickers on, as you can see, some of them on there. Not all the way yet. Um, he's not all the way, I mean, he's finished, but all the, all the stickers are like the details and stuff. I haven't got all of them done, but um, I painted these pieces gold and then his neck piece painted it gold there was this yellow color right here I feel like he ain't focusing too good hold on All right, there we go much better uh, you guys can see the gold right here it was yellow and I just think the gold looks a lot better this has like a metallic look to it like a metal look so I might do I might go ahead and do these gold as well on the back is gold. I've already painted, I was trying to make them look better. I painted these pieces a different red. Uh, painted like a gray, sorry, a gray metallic color. And I'm gonna go ahead and go over it with a, <clears throat> as you can see, I went over it with some uh, shoe polish. And I, what you do is you go over all the little lines with shoe polish and then you wipe it off I just use a q-tip I just wiped it all off that leaves behind all these little lines leaves them all highlighted so it has more details see how it's all you can see all the lines in it up here on the shoulders right here it just gives it more detail so it's just looking all white and looking <clears throat> so I've already done that um, his hands I painted the hands the same gray metallic color as I did the backpack piece. There was a, uh, it was like a dark gray color, like this. Oh, oh, anyway, it's okay. There's like this dark gray color. Trying to focus it in here, guys. I'm sorry. And so I went ahead, just to give it a metallic metal look, I went ahead and did that, just to make it look better. I went over it with a shoe polish as well and wiped them down. Um, but, so I was disappointed for how small he was. But at the same time, I was pretty impressed because all these, after you get them all together, the articulation is very good. Like, see how it bends really good? Right there in his elbows. Sorry. Uh, as the shoulder joints, so you can go push them in like this, bring them out, bring them back and forth, up and down, and then uh, you know, like he moves very well, up and down, left and right. I did a glue. I had a glue. I glued this piece on. It's the only part I had a glue on. It kept falling off, so I, just, I glued that piece on. But everything else just snaps together and it holds very well. You see his foot moves. 
and his knee was well, his knee was really cool. See how the piece moves with his knee. I thought that was pretty awesome. Like I said, for a small figure, uh, the the <coughs> artic uh, can't speak articulation was re really really good uh, for a little small guy. So I was very happy with it. Even though it was small, I was very happy with it. Uh, I'm not really familiar with how people do these. I think if you look online, uh, or like on YouTube, people, they'll, they'll go out of their way to detail them up really good. Uh, they'll repaint the whole thing. Uh, I'm not really familiar with that, but I was doing the best I could with all this highlighting stuff, getting all the lines detailed. The, just to make it look like a better figure um, but you know if y'all have any comments on what else I should do to him please let me know like I said I'm really thinking about doing these goat as well just to match these because it looks, it looks a lot better all right I'm gonna go over his uh, weapons here there's a lot of weapons um, So you see, he has two of these big guns in here. These pieces are movable. I guess they're like big flashlights, I guess. Uh, he has other hands also. And I've painted them as well already. Uh, this one I didn't do the details yet on. Um, as you can see, this one. Come on, focus now. Uh, so this one has like the highlights and the lines. I haven't done this in yet like that, but he has uh, these two big guns. He has he comes with these two lightsaber looking things. This gun here goes on his shoulder like this. Just kind of attaches in there like that, and you can kind of move it like this. You see, I got it all detailed up. What about paint? I thought I painted the guns a different color. I thought we doing like a black color with some, um, do, do some like silver, oh, uh, uh, what you call it. You take, you take um, some silver and kind of go over it with some silver. It looks like it has like scratch marks on it, you know. Uh, this bazooka. Again, like I said, all the hands are painted. He comes with um, like three different sets of hands. He has a fist, two fists. He has like these hands that have like a trigger finger action looking thing. But these hands are here, the the fists are for like his swords. They're like that. And then you can take these apart and put it on him. Put in the back piece like that, like he's got it in his backpack. Like that. It's pretty cool. Uh but yeah, he comes with a lot of weapons. Here's his shield, his little shield piece. It attaches as a little piece back. I painted this piece too. Uh, this piece right here. Look at that. There's this, this shield attaches to his arm. In the back, just like that. So he has this. Like that. And uh and his guns, they attach real easily. Like I said, you got different hands. Uh, I don't when you paint these, they, uh, the, you know, the paint makes it a little thicker, so it's harder to get off. Uh, let's see how that went on there, like this. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and take his hand off here. So I got my van in the background. I'm outside. I, the kids are in the house, being noisy. I feel like I'm outside. It's a beautiful day. I'll do this review with y'all. Uh, his hands are snapping out like that. And there's his gun. I made his bazooka. And I just, I like to put it over his shoulder like this. Well, get over there. Right. And you know, he's like that. Pretty cool. Like I said, you can move this guy any way you want him. That goat looks really good. I think it is, anyway. So you can move him however you want him. His arms, hands. You know. So I was very really impressed for how small the figure was. And he, he has a lot of movement. He moves really good. Which is 
Yeah. You know. I paid so I paid twenty five bucks for this guy. A little store. Uh, they have like collectible items like this, action figures. Put his handbag, put his little open hand back on there. Like I said, I got some of the stickers on. Uh, but yeah, like, like I said, I'm new to this. I might, well, if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comments. Cause this was a real, really cool build to do. Uh, like I was really impressed with it. I would like to get a bigger one, a bigger figure. Uh, but I, I don't know how much they are. Like, like I said, it's been a long time since I bought one of these. Like I said he was 25. For the size that he is, you know, so I'm, I imagine the other ones are probably a lot higher. Um, let me see the box back here. So he is. I've looked, I've tried looking these up, and I had a hard time finding them. A lot of, a lot of the ones you see are the the zero something zero. Uh, it says it's the uh, you can see the R RX seven eight zero two Gundam. Prototype mobile mobile suit. So, and his origin. Not the, sorry, his origin at the top. So maybe this is like the beginner robot of the of the suit of the show. I guess I'm not I'm not familiar with the show. I said I watched it when I was younger, and that's about it. I was more of a Transformers guy. Um, you know. Uh, but these, they, I mean, I, I thought these guys were really cool too. I just never really watched the whole thing. Um, but some I might get back into. Just let me know if y'all want to see another build. Uh, something like this, I can find another one and build it. And, uh, and, have, and you know, give me some tips on the, down in the comments of uh, how, uh, of what else I could detail him with. Uh, if I just leave him the same or do something to him. Uh, I know there's a lot of videos out there, like I said, people, they'll go to the extreme and uh, just make them look realistic and they do a really great job, by the way. Um, uh, you, the, the docker dramas out there you see, there'll be videos of people like they have them, like uh, like they've broken down, they've got mold all over them and like they're just, they're just like dead, I guess, and it's just they look really amazing. Um, I don't know if I can do that or not. I mean, I could try it. Um, but yeah, I was, like I said, I'm very happy with this. Very impressed. Just want to sit here and play with him all day. I love that knee action. That was just, that's very cool. <laughs> his feet, I got his all feet detailed up. Uh, very cool figure. Uh, like I said, I, uh, as it was, the name of the place right there that I got him from. Like I said, they sell antiques to, or collectible stuff. Um, very cool, very cool figure. Like I said, um, let me know if you like it or not. Um, comment what you think, guys. Uh, like always, like I said, if you want to see more, let me know. Like always, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you another day.